you're live. Hello, everyone. Hello, 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 hello. I gotta fix this. I'm gonna fix the angle. Sorry. As you can see behind me, um, that is the makings of a mess. Let me just move this so you can see overhead. Look at the mesh and the wreath things. So my kids, I see the paper. Oh my God. Anyway, yeah, welcome to having sons. Anyway, hi, I'm Jaden. How are you, sweetheart? So I wanted to go live. I'm only going to go live for about an hour. Uh, FYI, we have, we still have Sam, trying to remember her name. Left is right with Sandy Crochet. Crochet Sandy. Please find her, hit her up, see what she's up to. She's at nine, 970. That's all right. You can be new to my channel. I'm quirky. You'll have a ball here. Um, she's at 979, I think. Go hit her up. She's a really sweet lady. Um, she's so close to her goal. So it'd be great if we can, everybody can push her over. Um, I did this live today because I know football's coming later. <laughs> Y'all know I'm a football girl. I can't wait. Go Kansas City. I really want Andy Reid to actually get one. It'd be awesome um, because he couldn't get with the Eagles because they got stolen by the Patriots. Um, so I really, I really hope um, – Kansas City wins. And I made a Kansas City read, so that's what's up. Um, I also want, it would be awesome for, um, like, uh, I don't know why I want on the other side. I don't know if I want Tennessee because they're doing so well. I don't know. The jury's not out yet. I'll watch the game and I'll be like, mm -hmm. yeah, I'll figure it out. Anyway, while I'm up and running, I went early to the store. Someone had asked me before to do, like, when they do Sundays at uh, Goodwill, to try to see what I find because Goodwill out here in New Jersey has dollar days, which means certain color tags are certain things. And being a crafter, the most amazing thing you can do is find stuff that you can craft with, not only for your own stuff, but for any other stuff, which would be awesome. So that's what you have to do. Oh my God, look at my hair. That's what happens when you get old. Everything goes south. It's kind of windy out here in Jersey and it's kind of cold, but, um, I'm not going to stay on for like an extraordinary amount of time, but someone asked me to do a, what I got at Goodwill crafting kind of thing. Um, and, and what I find at Goodwill, I find a lot of stuff. I used to sell on eBay in my first month of selling on eBay. I made like $800. Um, I did sell Brooks Brothers shirts, um, White House Black Market, which is women's stuff. A lot of scrubs because that was my forte nurses scrubs. And a lot of bigger sizes. Men's size was like 2X, 3X, 4X. I sold a lot of that stuff. And um, women's sizes, being a big girl myself, it was like extra large, um, sometimes 2X, depending on what I was looking for. But you actually can make money on eBay selling a lot of stuff. Um, and you can make a pretty penny, even if you don't have to sell a whole bunch of stuff where you do it as a little part-time. eBay is a good side hustle that will help you out. Um, anyway, I'm going to get to go on to see, I'll probably only be here for like, uh, maybe a half hour or so because we're trying to see, I know Granny D comes on at three and someone else comes on after that, but I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to watch the football game. That's, that's basically what I want to do. But I jumped on here because I wanted to show people like what I got from my Google because they don't believe that I can actually, you can go to Google and find stuff. So, um, where shall I start? So being the crafter that I am, I got shatter resistant ornament shatter resistant ornament set. Um, I yeah, I was about to say I think these are from Target. They are from Target, as you can see. They are brand new in the box and they even opened. And anything with a red and purple tag today was a dollar. So I paid a dollar for all of this. Which, if you make wreaths and stuff, um, these are amazing because to buy these outright, it's so expensive. But the best thing you can do is like to find them on sale. And usually once I get them, I'll spray them like the other colors, like solid ones I could decorate. And I could make my own stuff and sell. So at craft fairs along with like my wreaths. Then um, I got that. And these are also great. If you go to your Google and you see these miscellaneous. Hi, Chop. Hi, baby. 
Yeah, so funny through. I was running your playlist yesterday, just an FYI. Um, I, I'm a, I'm good. I just went shopping, of course, as a girl. Um, but Jaden, grab chop, like everybody should grab each other. But as you come in and out the live, that's the best thing. Um, but I was running your playlist yesterday, um, because I just was trying to. I, I, I'm a helper bee. I try to go help people. And there's this lady. Her name is Left Is Right with Sandy. Left Is Right Crochet with Sandy, grab her up. She only needs, I think maybe 20 more people to reach her 1K. So um, that would be awesome. My mind, yeah. I, we, I, ran, I ran your your playlist yesterday. If there's anybody else, as people come in and out on the live, um, we can, I'll, I'll, they'll do like, as long as you're in the group and you guys run around, like they all help each other. So that's the whole purpose. I try to build a community of people that help each other. So not only to help you, grow your numbers but grow a community of friends that when you need them whether you're monetized or not or when you are monetized they have interest in watching your content because they were there with you from the beginning and that's the whole point having a uh, 50,000 subscribers and only 200 views is really not conducive to what people want to do when it comes to making money honestly so I just I wouldn't do it um I, and I'm a nurse, so I love what I do regardless. And YouTube is just like a little side hustle for me. Um, and I know people will re-watch the video later, which I'm totally cool with, because I have a lot of friends that will come through. And when we do our 15-minute challenge, they'll come through and they'll watch like 15 minutes of the live stream. Or they'll watch this or they'll watch that part, which is awesome because it also helps. Granny Day! Hi, pumpkin. I went Goodwill shopping, Granny Day. Look. Oh, I'm breaking stuff. I'll be at yours at three. I ain't gonna be on here alone. Um, everything at my Goodwill today was a dollar if you had a red or purple tag. Look at all that. Yes, girl. So you know I'm gonna be a wreath making something. It's a shame this ribbon that I had the idea to go with balls like that is not the way I want it to be. So yes. And I also found this like anonymous bag of like nothing. I'm actually gonna open it with you guys because I have so yeah, I know wowza, you ain't kidding. So I always go to dollar. So I just try to find like different things when I go there because for my Reese, because sometimes you can make the same thing. Hi Michelle, hi honey. So I try to like they have this little bag again, it was like a purple tag. It was a dollar, so I'm opening it when you open it. Like I really I seen this little I heard all these bells in here, and I was like, hmm. So apparently somebody tried to make a wreath out of the bells. So all these bells I'm going to take off. The whole bag itself was a dollar, so it's a win-win for me. Like, it has little stuff like this, which I'll take off and put on my wreath. I found a cute little, there was a cute little ornament in it. Like... Oh my God, Granny B, I gotta show you my craft room. When you see it, you're gonna be like, Lord have mercy. I'm gonna, um, they had all these little, like little clip flowers for, um, I can see them through the bag, but sometimes you can't see everything that's in it. It has these cute beads. So, you no, know, I'm gonna put this on a wreath, because that's just me. They had mesh in here, I wasn't even so concerned about it. Cause it just is what it is. But they had all these cute little picks that are so expensive to buy. Um, like just by themselves. And they had like really cute colors. Like I am a purple girl. And I think what attracted me to this bag was this right here. Cause I love purple. I have to make my own stuff. But they had all kinds of little picks and stuff. It is so windy outside. Then there was like this goofy little ornament in there. I'll figure out something to do with them. Um, Hour. And then someone put their best foot forward on trying to make a bow. So, but as I'm about to show you, um, this is, I like the ribbon, so it's not even going to be an issue. But if you ever get a bow that looks like this, it's all water. Put your hands in it, spread it out at the bottom. Like, don't be scared. I didn't make this one. It's just the one that came with Goodwill. You can actually fix, you can fix this. I'm just put my fingers through it. And 
it, it's, it's really beat up the poor bow because it was squished in the bag. So, yeah, I hate Buckeye. Buckeye divers. Hi, Buckeye divers. I really wanted you earlier because I seen some of the stuff that you be finding, especially at like Michael, like all the craft places and everybody be finding all that stuff. I'm about to go dumpster diving, but then it'd be a little uh, ethical issue because, you know, I'm putting that stuff on a race. But, um, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, as you can see, like, this was my little Goodwill bow that was just smushed to death. And if you keep playing, it'll turn into a bow. But you guys know I'll recycle this ribbon and I'll make a wonderful big bow. So that was that. Here, I'm going to hold you over. Look over my head. Holy schmoly. My kids were doing my craft room and they brought all this stuff upstairs. Like, reef smash, some yarn, some chunky yarn. Let me see if I can... All my poor babies, I got you guys going crazy, but look at all of it. It's like everywhere. And my boys are the best, like they're troopers. They were like 100% all for like, like, hey, can you help mom? Like, you know, you know, help mom out. And they were like, sure, mom. Like, I'm lucky. I, I, I say it every day that I am the most blessed woman in the history of existence because I have the best sons ever. Best sons ever. Irked my soul the whole time, but I, I love them to death. Anyway, so as I was going through Goodwill, and because I, I always need as a as a um, I wear extra large. Um, sometimes I buy like an XXL just to find stuff that fits me because sometimes things do not. Hi, Lori. Sometimes things just aren't comfortable, or they just, you know. And I got girls and hips and all kind of stuff. So some, so sometimes um, there's my kids calling because they cooked. Hold on, Ricky. I'm actually, I'm on live. Okay, well, I need tape. Okay, I'll get you some in a minute. My son's like, I need tape. Um, <laughs> kids are great. But check my car. Or my bag. Anyway, my boys are great. Um, I'm so happy, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. So, I actually went and I found, like, I don't, it's hard to find shoes. It's hard to find everything. So, especially, like, cheap. So, I was like, I needed a pair of flats. I didn't care where they came from, just to have, just in case I have an interview or I have to go somewhere. So these were actually in a box. They were $6. They're so cute. They're like that camel color. They go with everything, like anything cream or tan, this color is your friend. And they got like little silver buckles, but they're very cute because I was out shopping. They were like six bucks, but I don't care because I go looking for shoes and I just take forever. And... I found the cutest hat for a uh, scarecrow wreath, if you could see it. OMG. Like, I'm going to make a scarecrow wreath. But as you can see, it's got, like, what's, what it is, is, this is, like, the scarecrow hat. And then you put, like, little kids' jeans on it, and you stuff it with, like, um, straw or hay. And it just becomes, like, the, you look up scarecrow wreath and on, on, like, Instagram, you'll see it. Or on YouTube or anywhere. But I made them last year. And everybody loved them. So they were a big hit. So it was just finding more hats, which I couldn't do anywhere else or any other time. So then I decided, I was like, let me just look at Goodwill. And I found them. Uh, nobody's going to wear the hat. So it's not like, and again, purple tag was a dollar. So it was the best price. And it's so cute because I'm going to hook this up with like ribbon. And as you can hear, it's got like straw on it. So it's going to work perfect. I also found another hat. But this one needs a little love on the burlap. As you can see, it's got a string here. So I'm going to cut the string. I can cut it now. Huh. Um, so, again, it was a dollar. But it's going to make such a cute wreath because this is going to be the part. And then I'll figure out what embellishment I'm going to put here. And I could put ribbon. I could do all kinds of stuff. It does have, like, a little snag here. But, again, it's not a hat that anybody's wearing. So then I'm going to um, hook it up and I'm going to put ribbon and make another a cute little wreath out of that. I can't wait to show you when I make it because everybody kept asking me for it. So I think I'm going to do it sometime because I'm going to start selling. Last year I really didn't do flea markets. I just did some clears because I was working so, so much um, because I had gotten so behind on my bills because of the seizures. So because of that, like everybody, my credit score was ever 803 and I owed everybody in their grandma money. And they just 
you'd be surprised. When your credit is good, everybody loves you. The minute you end up in a hospital or something, oh, listen, they're taking you court to court, all kinds of stuff. So I'm a lot more frugal now with not only my money, about, um, I always pay my bills on time, but my thing is, is that I think I spent more money because I was able to swipe, 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 swipe. So now that I don't do that and I have a set budget of what I can spend on food, clothes, or whatever I need, I try to get most out of my dollar. And so dollar days at Goodwill for certain color tags work for me. And it helps me with my some of the things that I actually need for my wreaths, which is awesome. But as I went there, if anybody doesn't know, purple is my favorite color. And as a healthy sized girl, um, I I always wear short sleeves because I wear scrubs. I found this cute little sweater, but it's like a cover up sweater, like so it's open. And it was a dollar. So it is a dollar. You can't beat a dollar. So I love it. And it's very, very soft. Like I wish you could just feel it. You'd be like, wow, that's soft. So dollar. And um then I found what is this? Oh, American Rag Company, which their stuff is super high, super hoop, super hoop, super duper high. I found this cute little sweater. It's also one that like, you could wrap into, but this lovely little thing has a hood. So that's the amazing part. It has a hood and I was so happy to find it because like, especially when I'm running around with scrubs on and I need a sweater and I don't have too many or they're too thin. What else came out of my bag of goodies? I also, I was trying to find some shirts because I don't have too many business casuals. So if I have to, ooh, look at that hair. Yeah. Um, I know I need to wash my hair soon. Before football comes on, I can't wait. I'm going to watch the game. Yeah. You love thrift store finds. I love going to the thrift store. Like, I never knew like how, I was like, oh, I'll never find stuff. Like I used to find stuff when my kids were little because you know it was kids clothes. I never looked for anything for myself. But after financial stuff and then trying to figure out what for me, I was like, oh, man. I got to be able to uh, buy myself something once in a while. So therapeutic shopping it was. But I needed some more cute business casual clothes. So I really found this. I don't know if it's going to come up cute or like how it's coming up on camera. But this is the cutest thing ever. I actually tried it on the store. But it also was a dollar. It's got these cute little buttons and a cute little ruffle. But it's so soft. And I don't know if it's, it feels like silk. But it was a dollar. And I needed more like business stuff. So that's where I was going. Um, I also found like the Av and Lean Bryant. Their stuff is so expensive. It so it's it's ignorantly expensive. But I found this cute, I don't know if you can see it. It's got like ruffles on the thing. Because again, business casual, that'd be so cute with some gray pants. I'm loving it. Again, it was my little dollar fine. Thank you, everybody that donated their clothes to my future business casual wardrobe for when I go out. My favorite thing that I found, like I like flowers. That's just me. But I found this cute, I call it big girl shirt. But usually you can't find cute big girl. And this was cute big girl. And it has like appliques. And it was like super, super cute. And all I can think about is putting this with dark jeans. Um... That was $4 and it was worth every penny. So then after I said, oh, that would be cute with dark jeans. Um, so then I went and found some cute, super dark, um, like business dress pants, but they're jeans, maze balls. Love them too. That was my, uh, that was my morning walking around the thrift store in circles, trying to see what I could find. So how is everybody? How are my lovelies? I just wanted to come on for a little while. Um, I know it was like impromptu, um, but I was like, oh, I got to tell them like it's dollar days. If anybody lives close by or New Jersey or even go to your thrift store and see like especially Goodwill. Goodwill will have um, all kind of stuff like in the morning. Like you, if you go to Goodwill, try to see like, like what store has their, if they have dollar days or they have discount days because usually you can find some stuff. Like, there's people waiting outside in a line, like, carts and everything just to, and I'm like, oh, that's a little too much. But usually I can find cute stuff. 
And, you know, you can set yourself like a little budget. Okay, I'm going to try. Uh, I got $10 and that's all I'm going to spend or $15 and go in and see what you find. And that's that's what I did. And I found some cute stuff. But I also, as you can see, my craft room, I also found, um, I have this, I found this tank top. Like me and tank tops, we aren't friends because I got these big old arms. But sometimes you need a tank top in your life, especially when it's like 900 degrees outside in New Jersey, it's going to get hot. Hi, Nana's Crochet. How are you, sweetheart? Uh, hi, everyone. Hi, Jay. I see. Hi, honey. How are you? Um, if everybody doesn't have 420 Latina J vlogs, grab her up. She is the coolest person under the sun. She's a sweetheart. And she not only um, pops on your live, says hello, she also... Um, she also helps, like, if you need watch hours, like, she'll run your stuff. Um, she's working on her hours. So if everybody can go over there and do the 15-minute challenge with Aunt Maddie. Yay, Sandy! Oh, no, my connection. What? Um, am I loading? If everybody uh, can't. It says your connection is unstable. Please wait while we try reconnecting. So I don't know if I was loading just then. Um, so if anybody doesn't have left is right with Sandy Crochet, um, Latina J, please, if you don't have her, snatch her up. She only needs 17 more. Um, anybody else on this live right now, if anybody can grab her up, um, Auntie May needs watch hours. So does Noni May. And um, who else? Who else needs watch hours? Um you're so sweet. She says, hey, beautiful Teresa. Teresa is tired. Um, anybody that you can grab up, like, especially left is right crochet with Sandy. She's a doll. She's so funny. Snatch her up. Snatch Lori up. Lori needs wash hours since her channel was stolen. Hi, Pennsylvania Prepper. Um, if anybody, Pennsylvania Prepper, like, oh, girl. I got to check her out. She's very smart. Um, anybody else that you find that you can... Um, that's new on the live. Auntie Maddie, I know she needs hours, so she's close. Um, Linda, just a crochet sister, needs wash hours. Sandy, do you have uh, Linda, just a crochet sister, needs wa um Do you have her? This? Maybe you can find her and drop a link. I don't even know if I have her, but if it's okay, just if you can drop a link in there, we'll all help her out. Um, I try to help people out, and i rather have... A hundred people on my YouTube channel that actually help, support, love. Um, yeah, I'll, we'll all be at your live at three. No worries, Granny Day. Um, trust me, because I'll be watching your live. And Isn't it Granny D at three? Right, Granny D? I think it's at three o'clock. Um, Pennsylvania Prepper, yeah, she's a smart girl. She's, she lives in Pennsylvania. She's Prepper, but she finds all kind of good stuff. Oh, uh, you're so, so sweet. Latina J, girl. Um, I always want to call her 420, but then you know where my mind goes. Um, <laughs> so Granny D's coming on at 30. So after here, I'm going to take a little intermittent break because I know football's coming on, but everybody should just, um, everybody grab Granny D, knit pearl and squirrel with Granny D. Everybody grab Granny D and then we could just raid on over at three o'clock and help her out because it'd be awesome. Um, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. Mine just did some quirky, you're live, but your internet is unstable. Like, what? It's okay. Um, all right, everybody grab that link, Linda, just a crochet sister. I'm going to grab her up afterward. If everybody could grab her up and help her out. I'm one of those helper bees. That's what I always say. I'm helper bees. Um, yeah, 420. <laughs> I was like, I'll just call you Latina J Vlogs because I always want to say 420. But if you guys could help her out or catch each other, you'll find a new skill. That's my thing. Um, try to help each other. Like you'll, you'll meet new people. I'd rather have a hundred people, um, three on Saturday and Sunday and five on the weekdays that I come on. Okay. Yeah, girl, I, listen, I can't keep up my brain. Um, so everybody each other up because I try to keep, I don't want 
75,000 people and then I put out a video on how to make a wreath or how to do something and I have 200 views because that defeats the purpose of actually having 75,000 people. Why do you want 75,000 people and you can't remember their name or if you never met them, you never talked to them, you don't say hi to them, you don't have a vested interest in their channel, they don't have a vested interest in yours and they're just a body on, on your YouTube. I'd rather have a good, good core group of supporters and people that when I am monetized, well, actually watch my ad or um, stuff like that. So that that's kind of what you want. You want this core group of people. And that's what I'm trying to assemble, a good core group of people that will help each other. Hi, Stereo Success. How are you, honey? So Stereo Success, if you can get my friend left is right with Sandy, I always mess up her name. Good. She has, she said she was like 17 away. Oh my God, it says your interconnection is unstable. Please wait while trying to connect. <sighs> yeah, don't worry. We'll be we'll be back in time. We'll go raid day. Um, but seriously, uh, go grab everybody. Everybody grab Sandy. Try to grab her. They put a link in there to try to help. Um, I forgot her name, but she will try to help her. Yeah, you always have this core group. The large numbers still help your channel. But you want a good group of people around you so you you can just grow, but you grow the right way. Like I see all these things and people are just like adding people for no reason. Like don't don't add me for no reason. Like if you're not gonna watch my content or you're not gonna help out or you're you're just you're just gonna be there and then you're gonna be like, oh, I ran your playlist, but you didn't. Like I always want genuine people that I know that I could trust. I mean, like if I say Granny D, I need can you run my playlist for 15 minutes? Granny D's a type of like, I got you, darling. Like, she's just that type. Like, she's helpful. Like, Noni May Crochet. Like, I ask, I'm running her stuff. And then I leave a comment like, hey, Noni, I'm here. How you doing? Because you want that core group of people to help you and really be vested. Yeah. Let me say, I'm trying to keep up with the chat, but it's like, Pew. but that that's that's the whole wonders of it all. I want people to help each other. Um, I'm, I know, like, the best thing is, is is to honestly help each other. Like we're in this wonderful world and it's not like it used to be. Nobody really wants to help each other. How do you know when you run your playlist? You don't. I just leave comments on everybody and I just tell them, hi, how are you? Um, oh, 16 now. Woo woo. Oh my God. 16 more to go. Come on, guys. There's got to be somebody in here that doesn't have left is right with Sandy. Come on. And I have some, I have a good high H day. I still did not get to watch the doll and the chicken video. I'm so disappointed because I need to learn how to do that because that is so good. Um, but anybody that doesn't have Sandy, Sandy, we got to get Sandy to, Sandy got to get where she got to go. We're just trying to give her a little boost. I was hoping by the weekend we'd be able to get her over. Um, HD also, HD has like an amazing channel. I'm surprised she doesn't have way 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 more supporters like she does amazing stuff and crochet is amazing like it's it's awesome to watch well yeah you can monitor your hours in youtube studio to see but you'll never know who is giving you those hours so if my hours go up because someone's watching me and my friends come help out or do a live or whatever i'm totally cool with that and i'm thankful for any of the help i get so yeah yeah hd puts it at work man i'm like whew, girl. She did a five hour live. I was like, five hours? Like, man, I know at five hours at my regular job, I'm like, Phew. and she's crocheting and she has such wonderful talent. You really got to go check her out. Well, HD, sorry, it's handmade design. So that's what we all lovingly call HD. So I just think that's the, that's our nickname for her. Everybody has a YouTube nickname somehow. Lori is Lori. Noni, May Crochet is Noni. Granny D is knit pearl squirrel that's granny day um yeah she makes oh my god hd makes all kind of stuff i heard my dog in the background i'm surprised he hasn't invaded the live yet but as you can see I'm, I'm in the craft room it's quite it's quite getting there what time are you going live tomorrow i might be at work one day i was at work and i actually i actually put uh showed it in my one of my last lives that i was at work Shh. I was at work and I seen that you were on live. So I put my phone on and even though I wasn't at my desk, I was there trying to like run in and watch and go back out and 
But you're so on, so I'm trying to help out because I just want to help out. That's just my thing. I love her content anyway, but if she needs hours or whatever she needs, if I could help her, that would be awesome. No, Granny D, go. That's fine. I'll be there in a little while. I'm going to be watching you and the playoffs, which is going to be awesome. Yeah, don't, yeah. Pennsylvania Prepper, do me a fit. Like, when you go back, go back when the live stream is over. Let the chat go, and then you can pick everybody up then. And a lot of the people on here, they're all worker bees. They're all helpers. Um, and they're they're really wonderful to help you. Lori says she's over 1,100 now and still don't have community wall and can't use my phone for lives. What? Oh, no. By the way, Lori, I thought that, what is that, StreamYard that you guys used yesterday? Uh, yeah, me and some of my friends are going to do that because uh, one of my girl, Jamini, she's actually in, in Japan. So we didn't know if Prism could do it. So we were just looking around because she has Prism. That's the name of her streaming app. And we were trying to figure it out. But I guess it's only StreamYard, Streamlabs, Stream somebody. So, yeah, make sure everybody grabs everybody up. There's a good core group of, he group of people here. A lot of the crafters are wonderful helpers. You know, we're all helper bees, not only with each other, but with with other people. Like, especially when we really like the content, we try to help each other. And that's what it should be. Like, oh, like Jaminese used to say, um, it takes a village to raise a child. It takes a village to raise a YouTube channel. And so I think with a lot of help and love and support, we all could help each other get to where we want to be, regardless if that's just making content or just, or maybe getting a few dollars to help our craft addiction. I mean, our craft supplies. Or to buy ice yarns. I don't. I've never bought ice yarns ever, never, never. All I know is everybody goes crazy over ice yarns. I don't know what they are. No idea because I don't knit. I don't think I could crochet with ice yarn. But because I don't. But if you want to buy your ice yarns or, you know, I have a, I have a deco mesh. I, I'm a deco mesh queen. I think I have a whole. Unfortunately, I don't have a camera yet, so I have a whole black and yellow bin. I can't even show you how big it is. This is big, 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 and it's all of 10-inch mesh, and I just keep finding and buying, so, but I always make a lot of wreaths, and then I'm going to go to a local, uh, they have like, not a farmer's market, but like a, like a mart, um, like almost like a flea market, but it's indoor-outdoor, so it's like, I don't know, it's really cheap, it's like, $80 a month and you go every weekend if you want. So that's pretty cheap. And I have a lot of traffic, a lot of foot traffic. So I think I'm going to do that maybe a couple weekends because I'm going to make reefs. I actually have my wire racks. I have stuff on top of other stuff. It's crazy. If you can see those wire racks over there near the light switch. Those I used to hang wreaths up on. So when I go to craft shows or wherever, I have baskets and like stuff everywhere. I also have like this old treatment cart that I got from another job and I actually, um, they gave it to me. So it has drawers and it's almost like one of them. You keep buffering and freezing or I buffer and freezing. Am I buffering and freezing? Um, but somehow it keeps clicking off and going to someone else's. Well, that's because you have autoplay on. Am I buffering and freezing? Do you see me buffering and freezing? Because it might be the wind and the internet connection out here. You use them in your garden? I use them with um, S hooks to hang my wreaths on, which is awesome. It's the best thing ever. Because then you can... Uh, put them on there you can see. I was actually playing with this one because it's Halloween colors. This was, I was trying to figure out what to do with leftover mesh with all the colors. So that's what I came up with. But of course I have to add to it. But I even went to, what was that? Hobby Lobby and found these for like a dollar. Like they go in reefs too. Like this is so cute. You're buffering Teresa. Uh oh. I don't want to buffer. I don't want to buffer. I hate buffering. It's been doing that lately. Oh, okay. Mine was doing that earlier too. Like I was on somebody's playlist 
And then I went to somebody's live and it just kept, I kept seeing a spinning circle. So I had to go out and come back and go out and come back. So, all right, you went out and it's better. Okay, Lori, thank you. You're the bomb.com. But yeah, as you can see, the craft room is finally coming together a little bit. It still has some of the Seahawks paint. I was trying to get my boys to paint it, but um, I gave up. They painted the white where the blue is, as you can see in that corner right there. They missed a the spot. So, <laughs> but it'll be okay. It's just a crack from it'll be fine. And sometimes they, um, uh, I'm not sure. I go to their channel and hit videos and click on the first one. Sometimes it goes to the next one and sometimes it goes somewhere else. Because what happens when you click on that one video, if you have autoplay, it'll just go to somebody else's video that YouTube recommends you to instead of keeping on their videos. Um, you actually go to their playlist. That's why everybody should make a playlist. Anybody that comes on here, I want you to make a playlist, even if it's 15 minutes, like especially if, if you knew why hours, make a, a playlist that has 15, more, 15 minutes worth of videos on it. And then we all could just cycle through. We, I, I created something called a 15 minute challenge, which, um, 15 minute challenges like we're in a live or chat and whatever like i will run say let's see who can i go to let me show yeah the internet is just the wind is whipping out here man so let me see i can let me let me find um hd so i'm gonna she's got HD's video is like nine minutes and six seconds. But usually I try to um, um, help out, even if it's, if you make a playlist that has 15 minutes in it, what happens is if you make that playlist for 15 minutes, then we're all in a live. I'm like, hey, I have a playlist. It's just 15 minutes. Go find 15 minutes and just let it go. Like I was in the shower um, yesterday and I was running, I had somebody's live open trying to help them out. You can hear the wind. It is so bad. It is bad. Like, that's probably why it was buffering. It is. It was bad. It's like, so, yeah. Um, because we have to get, um, let me see. I didn't know there was a time limit on when you get your subscribers and watch hours. The time limit is one year. Here's the thing, because I went through the YouTube community guidelines. What happens is, I say I started December 1st. I started December 1st and from December 1st, 2019 to December 1st, 2020, I have that whole time frame to make my 1K or my 4, 000, and my 4,000 hours. Here's what happens. You don't just lose all your hours. Now, from, now let's say it's December 1st and I'm not there. Any hours that I earned on December 1st, 2019, now are, are tucked away and my year every day keeps going. Meaning if it was by December 2nd, if I make them December 2nd, then I make them December 2nd. December 3rd to December 3rd, December 4th to December 4th, December 5th, whatever your anniversary is, it's one year from, from that date. So you don't lose hours, but essentially what happens, you don't lose all of them, but say there's times where you had a live, oh, excuse me, and had like a thousand minutes. Once you get to that part, yeah, once you get to that part where you're at say, December 3rd and you made that on December 2nd, you'll see minutes leave because it's over your year. So the best thing is, is try to get people to help now. And so once you get your HD, you'd be there sooner than later. I don't know when your, uh, when your uh, watch time is up. Yeah, it is a rolling year. That's the best way to describe it. It is a rolling year. So I don't know when your watch time is up, but if you need hours, the best thing to do is, you know, I'll come in there. I was on your five hour live. I think I it might still be on there. Um, She has a great channel. She really does. Let me see if it, let me see. Where is that? Matter of fact, here, I'll show you. You can see it here. I just started the one video. The little red, oh, the little red line means that you watched it. She was live for six hours and six minutes. God bless her. And so I was on, hi, chop it up. I was on, I was on that live for all six hours and six minutes. You start in October. Oh, you got time. I Me, mean, I was like the end of November. So, but lives like that, anybody want to watch her, her live for six hours and when you sleep, knock yourself out. 
That's six hours. <laughs> you got 20 people watching it. It works. So, yeah, now I'm watching. I put, let me put the doll video back on. Mixed doll and oats dosa. That looks so good. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, so that's what you need to do. Help each other out. And um, there's actually a woman, and I'll keep her nameless. She um, said she didn't see me in her uh, on her friends list, or I didn't. She didn't see herself on my list, or I don't know what it was. But uh, send me proof that we're friends. On listen, I am not sending you proof that we're friends. If I went and I your video was released two minutes and I went and watched your video, which is four minutes, and then commented, guess what? We're attached. If you unsubscribe to me, that's fine. I am not sending nobody no Instagram proof. I'm not doing all that. I'm not doing it. I have a good group of people that support and always are there for me. So if you don't want to be that, if you're in that kind of support that you're sub for sub, I don't want that kind of support. I want real community, helpful people that are willing to work with me, really willing to help them. Um, that's what I want. I'd rather have that than to have, um, if you could tell she had to be in sub for sub groups because people unsubbed her. Well, they unsubbed her because you unsubbed them because you worry about if you can see them in their friends. If they're your friends, your friends. I am not going to nobody's list and search bar. and I don't have time for all that. Like if you if you stay, you stay. If you go, you go. I love you either way. That's just me. Oh, you're so sweet. Um, I got to make more Reese. I can't wait till I can get a thousand people. I know they're telling me stream lab, stream yard, stream somebody. I can go live from my phone. I've heard a little mixed review because I hear like some people aren't getting like all the hours totaled, but I have to figure that out. No way I know is a try. Next week, I'm actually not off. I have to work 12 hours on Saturday. <sighs> along with my regular Monday through Friday. So I'll be all right. But um, I'm cool with it. That's just nurse life. But um, yeah, like that's the best thing. Um, oh, the Steelers, Reese, let me tell you, I, I don't, I'm a football girl. I, I make stuff that, when I say I make stuff that no one else makes, I made Steelers, Reese, Eagles, Reese, all kind of stuff. You a Steelers fan? She did watch our 80 of them reached 100 times. Oh. oh, that's nice. Um, Sorry, I'm like looking back and forth and wondering my dog's barking. But are you a Steelers fan, Pennsylvania proper? My son's a Steelers fan. Yeah, I I had me like five of those Steelers reefs. Somebody wanted one. And then after that, somebody else wanted one. And then that's just literally how it works. But I try not to make everything. What kind of, you hate sports, but you like to read. Oh, well. <laughs> um, a lot of times, like, uh, I, I try to make different stuff. Hi, Star Cross Stitches. I try to make different stuff. Yes, left is right with Sandy. Anyway, that doesn't have left is right with Sandy, please snag her up. Um. She got more watch hours on one live. You can. You can get a lot of watch hours on one live. Um, but, yeah, that's, like, the best thing. Like, go live, do what you have to do, meet your new friends. But, again, I, like, I love making Reese. That was, like, my stress relief for being a nurse. And it just blossomed into, like, I could crochet. Then I learned how to hand knit. I needed something to relieve stress. Pennsylvania Prepper, you know what this is. These ugly Christmas-looking cups with the black lid. You know what they have? Wow. I'm a coffee girl. But I just try to make, um, yes, bye, Sandy. I just try to make different things. Like, I don't want to make something I see on Pinterest. And people appreciate the fact that they're they're like one of one. So every time I made a Steelers reef, I had to make it different. Every time I made an Eagles reef, I had to make it different. Oh, wow. That's all right. It's, you know what it is? I think it's the wind out here that's causing all the lag. I think that's what it is. I think that's the, it's making it uh, a little difficult. Or that, or I didn't see it because I'm old and I'm trying to look at the chat and look crazy and look at chat and look at the, look at the thing and look at the chat. <laughs> 
But um, yeah, like I try, I try to make different stuff. And the one thing is, is that um, it's such a stress relief as a nurse to make stuff. So I can't wait till I'm going to be able to, uh, I don't know that cup, where is it from? So yeah, I'm in Southwest Pennsylvania. You don't have Wawa? Really? Oh no, you're closer to, aren't you? Yeah, you're closer to Ohio. You don't have Wawa. Oh my. You have Dunkin' Donuts, don't you? I love Wawa. Wawa should be in Pennsylvania all over the place though. Wawa's everywhere. Um, but yeah, like that's what I, I want. I love selling wreaths and making wreaths. And, um, so my wreaths are my get out of debt, budget, pay the bills, extra money. Um, I want to pay my mortgage off because me and Noni were having this conversation at night. Like I am the bearer of many people. You don't know what a Wawa is? <gasps> what? Are you serious? Wawa's like a 7-Eleven, just better. Hi, Kanetra. What? Oh my God. Bye, HD. Um, Wawa is some, <laughs> Wawa's like a, a wonderful, um, they have good coffee. They're not 7-Eleven. They're a cross between Starbucks and, if you put Starbucks and 7-Eleven together, that's the kind of baby you'd have. It'd be just in the middle. It's not quite as expensive as Starbucks, but they have some good mixed drinks though. Mm -hmm. Um, anyway, everybody go say visit Michelle. Michelle is so sweet. Visit Michelle, HD, Pennsylvania Prepper. Visit all of them. Try to do, well, of course, they, I don't think they have them in Canada. I know they're like New York, New Jersey. Mm, there is actually one in Florida, which is crazy. They just, I don't know where. Um, I don't know where they, they just dropped one in Florida for no reason. And I know down in the South, they have uh, Piggly Wiggly and all that. Yes, my side hustle is um, my emergency supply hustle. My It helps with emergency supplies, and it helps with a lot of other stuff. Um, bills, making sure I'm debt-free. Debt-free is a big thing. And like I was talking to Nunu May, uh, I am the bearer of many financially. Uh, my mom's legally blind. I have four sons. I have a grandbaby. And one of my children is actually still a minor. So when all this stuff happened, when I was having seizures, my biggest worry was at that time I had two minor children, which was last year. And wanting to make sure that my house was paid off. So if anything happened to me, being the financial person of the family, even though by no means do I make six figures, I wanted to make sure that the people that were here or left behind we're in a financial situation where they would all have a place to stay. And between four sons and my mom, they'd be able to pay the taxes on the house and be able to maintain the house. They would all, they could, they'd have the ability to all live here. So that, that was my whole purpose after that. Like, so I've been on a mission to get out of debt and pay for stuff. So that's, I love my mom. My mom's the sweetest person in the world. Um, she is so sweet. Like she's a good human. Um, and I love my boys and my grandbaby. So that was my whole purpose was trying to try to help everybody. So that's where I'm at. And that's why I make Reese um, one step at a time trying to get out of debt. I think I had, I had a lot of credit cards. I think I had like 18. It was crazy. And I, they just kept giving me money here. You have a $30,000 limit. Like, well, I don't want a $30,000 limit. So I bought that. My, when I bought this house, it's four bedrooms. Um, and it's got a basement as a pool and a ground pool, which is now needs love, a fireplace. Um, it was like $169,000, which was the max budget. My mortgage is high because my taxes are high. So my mortgage is like $1,900 a month, which is a lot for just good old me, but hence why I work. And But that would be the purpose of it. So, uh, yeah, credit cards are dangerous. Anybody that has credit cards, just, just toss awesome. them. Um, I keep one, which is a debit card for emergencies and that's it. <sighs> um, there is a lot of people that have student loan debt. I have some student loan debt, but it's no more than $1,500. I refuse to go into $80,000, $90,000 debt to go to school. And even my son now, my 20 year old, he didn't know what he wanted to do. So he thought about whether he was going to go to school or actually, um, 
like what he was going to do. And so he didn't know what he wanted to pick. Um, so in the meantime, I was like, listen, just work a little job, like figure out what you want to do. Like I'm your mom. I'm here for you no matter what. Like, so stay home. There's my dog here, Nigel barking at the wind. Um, so I actually told all my kids stay home until you're like, you have a degree in something that you actually can work in. And, um, my 20 year old, he's home and he was like, he didn't know what to do. So, you know, work a little piece of job and, and figure it out, you know, get your license, do whatever you have to do. Uh, we have two emergencies. Yeah, that's me. I, I do not want credit cards, but with my son, I told him, I said, listen, well, we'll just start figuring when you figure out what you want to do. And now he said he might want to do HVAC and that's very, very good money. So I was like, okay, cool. And I said, well, I'll just help you. I'll work, sell Reese, and help you pay for school because I'd rather you do that than going to debt. There's a lot of people that have a lot of debt. Our economy is not good when it's hard for people to find jobs that they don't make enough money at or um, they're working two and three jobs. Like, why am I an, a nurse? My mortgage is so high because of my taxes. And 800 of my mortgage is taxes, which is ridiculous. $800 is taxes. My taxes are like, they just went up, so they're going to be like 9000 a year for property taxes. New Jersey is overly expensive. Hi, pumpkin. You're going to bomb the live again? Oh, thank you for not stepping on anything. Here, you can come up, say hi. Come on. Oh, yeah, they did have that data security breach. Hence why I only pay cash. Come here. Are you going to come? No? You're just going to make all the noise and not say hi. Okay, come on, say hi. Say hi. You want to say hi? No? Because he's a good dog. Shut up, baby. But, oh, Jesus, Lord. Go downstairs. You just scared the life out of me. You're barking at the wind. I'm sorry. You wanted some attention. My apologies. But um, um, I'm definitely not affected because I, buy ca I pay with cash. I am a cash kind of girl. That's just my nature. What are you stiffing? But um, yeah, that's the whole point. Like you, I, I wanted. I'd rather do that for my son, and let him pay for school. I'll help pay for school, and then he's not in debt. And my two boys that are home, my twenty year old and my sixteen year old, um, they're kind of where I'm at. Um, yeah, um, my twenty year old and my sixteen year old, like they understand the mission of wanting to pay for a house, especially since. Um, the three of my, my youngest three were absolutely hundred percent there when I was in the hospital. So that was their main thing. They wanted to make sure that I told them like, listen, uh, the best thing we could do is pay off the house. That's what they want to do. They want to help pay off the house and they're good kids for it. So I told them so, and as I get older, you know, there are a lot of rules when it comes to healthcare, when it comes to paying for medical care, when you're older, it's wise to have them make some payments in their name into the house so nobody can take it from them. And I told them when they get older, we're going to put it in, in their names, in all of our names. So not a wife can take it, not a girlfriend, not a nada, because there'll be too many people. And they can't make them sell the house with three owners. <laughs> not New Jersey. I already looked through the rules. You should be surprised what I learned in the medical community. Um, that's just how it is. So, oh my God, you're such a big baby. He is such like a 90 pound baby. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You're such a baby. But my lovies, you want to say hi? Come on. Come on. No? Oh my God. The wind is so whipping bad out here. It's crazy. It's probably why it keeps buffering. What? But, um,. <coughs> but I just want to tell everybody, um, like, I hope to have a wonderful day. I just came on live. I want to try to get Sandy a few more people. Claire, if you don't have Sandy yet, or everybody try to catch each other up. Kenetra, Kenetra is one of the worker bees of our other live. We do the 15 minute challenge and I created the 15 minute challenge. So everybody could help each other get watch time. Cause it seems like that's the hardest to get because you can't, it's hard to get that in the beginning because you have not as much content. And so even if you have people watch your video, I mean, how many people are you going to get watch your video if it's seven minutes in the beginning? Seven minutes in the beginning, even at 100 times, is only 700 minutes. So it's harder to catch up on the content, on the, on the hours part. So 
that's what we do the 15 minute challenge for. We try to help everybody out. Uh, excuse me. Um, so that's what we try to do. Try to show everybody love. So, and that's why I created it. We were in a group one day and then we all started doing it. Uh, we were on a live stream, which was Jamini's live stream, Jamini style. And so we all tried to, uh, yes, you are loyal girlfriend. We, you are a loyal supporter. You jump in everybody's lives when you can. Um, so does the hours start after 1K? No, the hours don't start after 1K. The hours start adding up the minute that somebody watches your content. It's just that um, in the beginning, you don't have a lot of content for people to watch unless you make a whole bunch of videos and drop them all at the same time So it's because you're learning. <laughs> yeah, you, you're on a mission to subscribe to as many small ones as you can. You can subscribe to people, watch people, help people. Like we do that little 15 minute challenge because we try to help each other. So um, like we're in there and we run each other's list and uh, I try to go visit people. And sometimes I like run a playlist. So I won't leave a comment on every video, but at least you'll know that um, uh, that I was there because I'll leave a purple heart. Purple heart is my thing. So if you end up in a spam emoji, if you ever to see anybody spam and it's a purple heart, it's just me saying that I was there. So I, I try to at least do that on a video or so in your playlist. So if you see that, most of the time I'm trying to help by run some playlists. Big Ben! Big Ben's another good egg. You guys, Ladies, go watch Ben's um, video for his gym. He has some uh, interesting looking gym friends. Wherever that gym is, I need to, we all need to move. Um, just saying. Hi, Ben. I'm just kidding. Um, Ben's cool dude. He's a good guy. <laughs> He's one of uh, one of the people that in Jamini's style, and we all run each other 15 minutes. Ben was running my playlist yesterday. I was running his. And then we all help each other. So, yeah, Big Ben. He, he's adorable. He's such a sweetheart. So we all help each other. He has a spider prank. The spider video, you gotta go watch that. It's kind of funny. Um, but that's what you gotta do. You always gotta help each other. And I think if you have a core group of people that are willing to help each other and show each other love, like me and Jamini is we cool. So like my people, she'll help, she'll go see any of my friends, like Granny Dean, all them that I'm cool with. So she'll go over there and she'll help them. And so once you start building that small community of people, before you know it, you have you might have 50 people. And then they say they have two or three friends and they have two or three friends. And then your, your community starts to build itself without having to do all that crazy sub for sub shenanigan and Facebook groups. And so it's just important. Like I know there's so many people that do growth streams, but I want to grow the right way. So I want to grow around a good community of people. So growing and having um, a bunch of people that I don't know or don't support me or have no vested interest in what I'm doing or I'm not going to say hi to on a routine basis. Like I say hi to Jamnees, Kenetra, Big Ben when he pops in, him. Like I see Michelle a lot, like all these people that know me. Um, uh, so I try, I try to keep this core group together and going. So um, like Lori and Noni and Granny D, like I try to keep that core group together because like for me, they're my biggest supporters and they want me to succeed the same way I want them to succeed. They're ahead of me. Um, they have maybe 1500, 2000, 3000, whatever it is. They're so ahead of me. So I'm happy to still wa I'll watch your ads. Like that's, that's the type of person I am. I will watch your ads. I might not have to uh, help you get a thousand hours or whatever it is, but I will watch your ads all the way through. That little 30 second one that leads to the five minute one, I just let them run. So I just watch people's ads. Oh, Kayla and Michael. They're called Kayla and Michael. They're monetized now. So I was watching their ads too, which was funny because she's like, you're watching my ads. Hi, Diana. Um, everybody grab Diana. Diana's the sweetest person ever. And she has like the wisest words of wisdom. <laughs> um, so that's the best thing. But um, I'd rather I'd rather have a wonderful core group of people. And um, did he just say Kenetra Wagwan? I know. Tell Jamini as I say it right. Wagwan, folks. Um, but um, the best thing is to have a core group of people and that are willing to help you. You help them because I think that's the only way to succeed. 
I don't think any of us are going to be like PewDiePie and Mr. Beast and all that. I mean, it's a great ambition. It's a wonderful thing. But the best thing to do was actually help each other out, which is the amazing thing. I'd rather help people. And I think um, helping each other is just as important as helping yourself. Like, it's great to help other people. It's great to help yourself. But I think all those things, when people see you on other people's lives and talking and interacting and being cool and normal and just, you know, being goofy or uh, like I said, I'm a little cork box. Um, uh, yes, Ben, that's what it is. It's because you're here. It, that's what it is. No, Ben, it's because mama's hair. Look at it, Ben. Mama needs some shampoo and conditioner. And um, yeah, it, it, it's not because of you, boo boo. I'm sorry. If I, if I lie to you and tell you it's because of you, it would make you feel better. Here. Okay, sorry. Um, that's just how we are. We, we just goof around. I am such a quirk box. Um, I'm a nurse. I'm a mom. And I love who I am as a person. Big, little, small, chunky, meaty, playing with my hair, Ben. Um, <laughs> so that's just who I am. Like, I, I just want to be that heavy, go look, lucky person. It took a long time when I was younger and I was, uh, people picked on me because I had like, I was small, I was skinny, but I had a big butt and thighs. And I guess that wasn't the body type back then. So people just didn't know how to, you know, I'm Brazilian, Puerto Rican, Italian, like I had curvature. Back then it wasn't a thing. So people would like say something to me, like I got up to the point where I felt bad about myself, even though I was beautiful as a young lady, like I, I just... I didn't accept me for me because nobody else accepted me for me. But I got to the point where I got older and I was like, I don't really need your acceptance, do I? And I became happier with me of who I am. So at 42, I'm like, I don't care. I don't care what you think. Opinions are like a lot of areas on the body. Everyone has one, but you know, the rest of the saying. So, uh, yeah, Kenetra is a creator. She has zero interest in being monetized. For what reason? I have no idea because I see her at Hobby Lobby and I'm like, oh, I got to go look for that. So she's, she's just a creator. She doesn't really want to be monetized. So she's all about helping everybody else. But um, I think when you are selfless like that, she'll unintentionally get monetized. I think everybody should go uh, visit her channel because she loves helping She'll run your playlist. All of a sudden, you see her everywhere. So she's she's a helper B too, and she's part of like the fifteen minute challenge. All right, that's sweet. See Ben, Ben's already there. Ben is everywhere, aren't you, Ben? Sorry, bet my little green eyes. Um, but yeah, I think everybody should help everybody. Like it's just it's uh there's a lot of small YouTubers. <sighs> What? Oh, my God, that's the third person that said that. Well, you are going to be unintentionally monetized, whether you like it or not. You're going to have, you're going to have like $1,000 worth of checks sitting there and not realizing it. AdSense is going to be mad at you. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to happen because you're so uh, selfless. Like, people are more apt to help you. That's what's going to happen. Like, when you don't want to be monetized, people are going to be more apt to help you because um, you're just trying to help yourself and you're trying to help them. <clears throat> Yeah, and that's that's what's gonna happen. People are gonna be more more likely to help you out because, you know, you'll run their videos and then maybe you'll change your mind and then you'll be like, oh, okay, maybe I want to. So you'll have a, a whole group of people that'll be willing to help you because there's many people you helped. And if they don't help you, don't worry, sister, I got you. You know how we roll, Gemini style. That's how we roll. <laughs> so that's that's how we do it. Your live got a strike today. Did you have music playing in the background? Please say you did. If you have music playing in the background, um, what else? Music playing in the background, TV playing in the background. Um, what else? If you have like, like if I was sitting here with like Disney or lots of cursing, foul language, stuff like that, that's what you got to be careful of. I can't believe you. I didn't even see you go live. I don't get notifications. Everybody, it's not a, a falsehood. I set notifications for a lot of people to all. And I think I didn't even get a notice. I, I'm always on Jaminee's, her her channel. And I didn't even get a notification and she said to all. 
I'm like, what? Wait. I only knew she was coming on. A couple of people, I only knew they were coming on because they said something to me. Oh, you had the TV in the background. Yes. Yes, they will strike you for TV, any music. I see a lot of channels and they're like, um, reviewing something is one thing. But when you're putting the actual footage on the TV and playing it, you have to be super careful because what they'll do is they'll strike you because it's not your content. It's not your own creative content. So the minute that you do that, you're going to have to, uh, yeah, if you have the TV running, music, any stuff like that, they'll, 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 they'll pop you and you don't want to get popped. They did that to another YouTuber, TMC family, and he was almost at his hours and they told him what it was. It was like, I don't know, some kind of music in the background. Yes, Claire. Yes. Nice to catch you live. We're all going to go raid Dan, uh, Granny D in about two minutes. So we're gonna go. So we're gonna go. Grant. Um, what is she? Knit pearl squirrel. If you scroll up in the live, she's knit pearl. Knit pearl squirrel. Something like that. Sorry, my phone ringing. But if you uh, knit pearl squirrel, she's up there. Find Granny D. Um, and we're gonna go raid her because she usually she's she's a sweetheart. She's every day at three o'clock. So um, not every day at three o'clock. Saturday and Sunday at three. And every day at five. So we can go uh, we can go nurse raid her in about two minutes when she comes along. We're going to leave off of here. But I just want to tell everybody, like, that's the thing. I like all work together. Anybody you see on the chat that you missed or didn't um, grab? I'm sorry, Ben. It's just you. It's the hair. It's just you. Um, anybody on the chat that you didn't grab? Yeah, go, we, we just go bomb Granny D. She'll be on in a couple minutes. But anybody that you didn't grab, try to grab everybody. And, you know, we do the 15-minute challenge. So I think it's cool to do the 15-minute challenge. Kinetra sis. These are my boys. Look at this. Look at all this craft stuff, sister. Look at it. Oh, my face got skinnier. I think I'm going to stay like this. Look at the toilet paper. My son had to blow his nose when he was in here. I'm going to keep this angle because this is a good angle. Ben, I just lost 30 pounds and I didn't even go to the gym, sir. Look at that. Look. You see that? I lost 30 pounds by lifting up the laptop. <laughs> but look at on the mesh. My boys brought this all upstairs. It's all in bins. That black and yellow one is huge. And that's just, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just shoot like this angle from now on so I can look skinny. Ben, see, that's what you do. Ben, ben you, you got, you just, you know, stay like this. And I just lost 30 pounds while going to the gym. And back to reality. There, I got my chin back. <laughs> but yeah, that's my boys. My boys went hard yesterday for me. They went um, grabbing all the stuff from downstairs because I had like different areas where I would craft, like my dining room. And they just was trying to get everything together. Like I have to sort through it, go through it, put, I have some of my mesh in one place and then. I'm going to just try to get it organized. But once I do, yes, I'll see you later. Everybody's going to go to Granny D, Knit Pearl and Squirrels after you're done. Diana, you're amazing. Enjoy your gym time. I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day. You're such a sweet human being. Um, so, yes. All right. We're going to go. We're going to go raid Granny D. We're going to nurse. We're going to nurse raid Granny D. So I'm going to end this live. Look for Knit Pearl and Squirrel with Granny D. She's funny. She's a cute old lady, older lady. She's she's adorable. So we're going to go nurse raid her. Can actually, let's go nurse raid her. And as you can see, what a mesh. See that? 30 pounds. 30 pounds. 30 pounds. But look at all that. Oh, my God. What a mess. So that's what I'm working on, my loves. Anyway. All right, guys. I think I'm going to do... A growth stream on Tuesday. I have such a headache. I think I'm going to do a growth stream on Tuesday, maybe 7.30. I think that's when I'm going to start doing growth stream. Just for a little while, because I know there's so many people that are so close. I want to help them out. Um, I probably won't do it for eternity. But just because there are so many people that are close with hours and stuff. And everybody can share everybody's friends and meet new people. And 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 all help each other. Sorry, Ben. I'm playing with me. Here again. I'm just leave that there. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I know I, I always get migraines. I've got migraines for years. So since I was a kid, 
Hmm, I guess that's what makes me a quirk box. Anyway, all right, guys. Let's go raid Knit Pearl Squirrel Granny D. I love you guys. Peace out. I'm about to go have her going. Nurse raid over there. And then the game is on. Let me see if there's a score. I got look. You know, I got to look. NFL. Oh, Kenetra. Girl, look. I don't know if you just, you see the Chinese writing from yesterday with, uh, um, speaking of squirrel, uh, <laughs> with jam and knees. Oh my God. So yes, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see, let's see, let's see what game is on. Um, let's see. Let's see if it started. I got to figure out what time it starts. I think it's like now. If it didn't start already, let me see. Let me see. Oh, today at 3.05. So I got three minutes. So we're going to run over there, go hang out with them. And then I'm going to pin the score. I got to pin them all because I'm a football girl. So I'm going to be watching the football game. Love y'all guys. I'm going to take some Tylenol, get the shower, visit my girl, Granny D, and hang out. But anyway, go over there and do a nurse raid on Granny D. Tell her you love her and tell her we're there. All right, y'all, and watch the ads. Granny D's monetized, so watch her ads. Show her some support. All right, ladies and gents, I'm out. Yes, I want to end my live stream. Bye, guys.